All right, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, or Evil Mike's Hands. Ah, gotcha. Um, it's going to be another one of my DIYs where I'm trying to remove these nifty 25 cent stickers on these comic books. And I got a head flashlight, that's why you see all the crazy. Um, not trying to make anybody sick. This comic had one of those stickers right here. I don't know if y'all can see. I have already removed the uh, sticker and it's just the glue residue. I'm going to use the same process um, as I did before using this lemon essential oil. Uh, I, I purchased this at Walmart. It's like five or six bucks. Um, of course, we got Q tips, paper towels, and I got some. Alcohol, which is the 70% variety, not the 91 or higher. I think if I were to use the 91 or higher, it would um, it would definitely take off the ink. But um, this is the first one that I'm gonna work on, and I I might try and work on this one. Y'all know this cover. I mean, this was a dollar buy. But it does have one of these garage stickers. This one is going to be a harder sticker to remove. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a discoloration under that sticker in general. But um, I'm not a big fan of these stickers, period. I usually stay away from comics like this that have that sticker. Even though, I mean, I bought this as a reader copy and I still want to read it. But if I would have seen that sticker, I might have passed up on it. Because I didn't think there was any way to get rid of stickers. And recently, we have seen that there is kind of a way. I got some other comics over here that I might try and uh, touch up on, but right here this is a comic that I also got for a dollar and it's got some some scuffs like right there. I don't know if y'all can see. But it's got some other dirty stuff that I kind of just want to, you know, use the alcohol and see if I can get it up. There is some stuff down here. But right there was one of them. Right there was another one. So let's get started. Uh, two minutes into it. Hope everybody's having a, a great morning. It is a brand new new comic day. It is 7.08 in the morning and I have a couple ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that, just lemon juice all over the place. And I say lemon juice but this is oil. And I got a good amount on the Q-tip. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing. Alright, so basically you're just going to rub the um, area with the glue. You know, until you don't feel any resistance. Because what the lemon juice is, as you can see right there, it is uh, taking off that glue. Um... And that, that is not the comic, because as you can see, it's, it's not uh, discoloring anything. Not that I know of. And as far as I can tell, we got the uh, juice off. You know, we got the glue off. So I'm just, and... I do so, see some discoloration there. Could be from the lemon, could be, I mean, red is a very temperamental color with inks, especially depending on the paper. Um, like I said, this was just an experiment, you know. <clears throat> I sprayed it down with alcohol, I'm kind of doing this to get rid of any oily residue that might be left from the oil. I'm just going to... Yeah, look at that man, it took off all that dirt, it made it all white. Let's see up here. Let's check. I mean, look at all that, that's all dirt. I mean, you know, usually when you're using alcohol, you can see an instant fading if uh, the alcohol has a reaction to the ink. I am not seeing that fading, you know, especially with black. I would see it like instantly, 
what I do see is the color starting to pop a lot more. I was very scared about using alcohol with comics because of, you know, inks and printer inks. I have used uh, alcohol on, on various, let's see, look, look, maybe you can see this. I don't, but all up here it's dirty, so what we're going to do is we're going to try this. I mean, it's white, so you can't really fuck up white to begin with. Man, look at that. You know, if y'all are, you know, technically, you know, you, when they're doing the CGC process and stuff like that, I don't know if, you know, they can detect that you've rubbed alcohol. We all use alcohol in our hands and that kind of stuff. I, you know, I'm not a, uh, I am deaf. I, I really don't know anything about, you know, as far as what they look in. I know they can tell when you, you when you've used like a color touch up and that kind of stuff. I mean, like right here, it's just, it's literally taking off all this dirt that's on the spine. I mean, these were in, in the quarter bin at half price bookstores. I mean, so they were neglected comics to begin with because of those stickers, I'm pretty sure. Um, my, my half price books does have a huge quarter bin. I, I don't even know how, I mean, because the, other than, you know, me not knowing anything about this guy Vigilante from DC, I mean, But, you know, other than my knowledge of not knowing this guy from D.C., you know, I, I don't know why he was in the, the quarter bin. You know, I don't really know. I mean, but look at that. I mean, it just... Now, right here, if you'll notice, this is a good example of, of the alcohol. Maybe I should stop with the uh, flashlight. But right here, this is a good example of the of the alcohol and it did it did kind of uh, on this power lord with the blue it did kind of move some of that blue ink around I, I don't really I didn't really get anything on the paper towel so I mean it just might be really dirty I'm assuming the alcohol did that but everywhere else that was all over here I mean you can go back and look how it was a couple you know like a minute ago I mean it is, it's pretty clean and what the alcohol works really good on white all right, so that one's all good and done, and a good test is you can rub right here. And like I said, there is a discoloration. I mean, that's kind of it's going to begin with, you know, because that sticker was there. I don't think this was the lemon juice. I don't think that was the alcohol. I think that was specifically because that sticker was on there for how long? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I pulled off one of those stickers, and it said it was from 1998. <clears throat> All right, so this is a comic I did want, but because I don't know anything about Tangent Comics, I know basically in a nutshell that it, you know, that these people were given, you know, rights to do to use. Uh, basically, it's like, hey, you want to do a Joker comic, and they're like, yeah, well, um, do a Joker comic, but your own version of it without touching on DC's Joker, and that's kind of. All I know about Tangent Comics, I guess, I don't know, that's pretty much it. If y'all don't know, I, you know, a lot of these things I'm always curious about because I don't know, you know, and I, I do ask y'all to, ooh, see, I don't know what that is. Okay, right here, there was like a, uh, okay, I'm going to turn the flashlight off, I don't know if the flashlight's helping. Um... Right here there was a spot and instantly the alcohol's taken off. It looks like some kind of like cookie residue or something. Let me see. But like all right here. There's some spots. I mean it's it's like nastiness is what it is.
it's taking whatever that stuff off. I've kind of always wanted to use alcohol anyway, it's just a disinfect, you know, every time I go through the half price bins, I mean, I'm not a super germaphobe, but I always do really wash my hands when I go home, because these, you know, some of these comics are, are really, really dirty. Look at that, I got the spot out. Kind of rubbed it a little hard, so, I mean, that, that color distillation, yep, that's me. I mean, these are my personal collections. That I didn't find this in good shape. I mean, this is like, you know, I mean, it's got the little, the little bitty versions of puppy dog ears, but, um, and I learned that from Jerry, but, um, the Mastin. But, um, you know, this is, this is my, my copy, and I mean, a lot of this stuff I'm just happy to find. I mean, this is the first, when I found this, this was the first time I found it. Um, I didn't know anything about it. I love the Joker. I love any version of the Joker. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's kind of like for me, it's like when people draw that, you know, with, with DC. I, I love everything DC's a part of. I mean, um, you know, if I have that love, that's like Marvel, even though I, I hadn't, I, there was a part of my comic book, you know, reading years where I wasn't on board with Marvel, I've still always had a deep, you know, love for Marvel, and, and a lot of that begins with a, uh, a deep love for its, you know, one of its creators, Stan Lee, but I mean, I, I grew up with Ramada and Kirby and you know, Ditko, and those names I do know, you know, you, you, I mentioned a lot of names that I don't know, but, you know, the older, you know, Marvel, uh, I mean, that's, that's where I grew up on, so of course, you know, I, I have a very strong love of, of Marvel, now, just like every company, I mean, some company, you know, they, I wouldn't say make mistakes, but maybe, you know, just, I don't know, just choose different things, but yeah, the alcohol worked, it didn't really take off any of the coloring, it did right here, because I kind of, that, that, I mean, I scrubbed it really hard, because it was like, it looked like brownie mix or something, but it got off all the other stuff, I don't know if it, this is going to help with any of this, because this just looks like color fading, and, but you never know, so I'm going to try, but I mean, if you can tell on camera right here, there's like discoloration. I'm pretty sure all that is, is, uh, you know, just the comic color fading, whether it being in the sun at a garage sale, I, I don't know, being exposed too long in the light. Yeah, I don't think this is helping with any of that. I mean, it's definitely going to make it cleaner, but. But again, like I said, this was, you know, my PC and just, you know, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I have nowhere in many steps, you know, began to even try and send anything off to CGC. I mean, yes, uh, I understand the uh, significance and slabs and that kind of stuff, but I, I just never have the money to do that. And, and you know, the... Uh, the, the, I'm gonna be in one place at the same apartment for, you know, I don't know, however long, I think right now it's like a four month, you know, possibility when you send in slabs. I mean, now it didn't do anything major to the back, but it did get off all these spots and that big spot that was there, it cleaned it up. And it didn't really damage, you know, the comic and, I mean, beyond any damage that it was. Um, let's see, I'm going to do the difficult one. Now again, I stress, do not try this at home. This is a, a reader copy of this issue. I was just happy to have this in my collection. I don't care on what condition. I mean, it, to me, it is a really good condition because it didn't have any tears. You know, yeah, it has some 
some color fading, you know, but what comic doesn't? I mean, this is how many years old? 30, 40 years old? 1989. Woo, yeah. I mean, we're talking about 31 years old, people. It's going to have some age. And, you know, some of us don't age well. Some of us do, you know. I mean, but I'm, I'm very happy to have this in my personal collection. Now, what I might do first... I kind of want to play with the sticker, and I kind of want to feel, you know, because this is a, a garage sale sticker. You know, it could have been a comic book, you know, still. I've seen, I've been in some comic books, man, they just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get this. Yeah, it's like GameStop, man. If you ever come across GameStop stickers, do not attempt to, you know, at a beginner level, try to remove those stickers, because they use some kind of, like, techno age mystical you know they got it from aliens you know glue on their stickers and it, I mean you're gonna see I wouldn't have attempted this project if it was something that would take me longer than you know 20-30 minutes to do a sticker at a time I mean that's ridiculous Now I'm being extremely quiet because right now what I'm doing is attempting to pull off the whole sticker on one piece and I'm going extremely slow. Um, but there's the sticker off in one piece. I've been so scared to do that my whole life. I mean, look at that. That is just some, some brown right there. Um, and I want to say the stick yeah, is right here right on the A I can feel some of the blue but I, I don't see any of uh, discoloration yet now I'm gonna put a very light very light light dose of uh, the lemon because honestly when I was touching it right there well two reasons I didn't feel a lot of um, and I'm gonna dilute it I didn't feel a lot of the glue And uh, this paper has a, you know, e each paper has a different feel. And, like, uh, you know, the, the Marvel at the time, you know, that at the time, it was, it was, you know, it was good paper. It was just like DC. I think they both used the same paper. Um, okay, hold on. Hold on. But um, it is more of a paper. So I'm trying to be careful that I don't, you know, for one, damp it too much. Because if I damp it, I know, I know that, you know, once you get it wet, because I've had a lot of comics, you know, actually get wet and stuff like that. And then there's, there's uh, water damage. And as y'all can see right there, that that was, um, let's stop at the flashlight. But right there was where the sticker was, and uh, right now there's no more glue. There's no. I mean, I don't. I don't even see a difference. Like that is a brand new comic right there. Yeah, you know, I mean, if I hadn't have told y'all that I did that, would y'all have been able to notice that? You know, right now the alcohol is in the process of evaporating. So I mean, I don't know, guys. It looked good to me. I have one more comic with that. It's the uh, first appearance of the Puma that I got in one of these dollar pickups. I didn't realize it was the first appearance of Puma at the time, but one of uh, you know one of you great viewers out there, let me know. Um, I'm kind of gonna you know while I got this out and, and I still got some time right now. We're at 19 minutes. Woo! I'll try and put time codes for you. But I'm gonna try and clean some of this up. Like down here, it's got some dirtiness. I really hope the flashlight isn't messing this up. I see at this point, I don't know. Cause I don't necessarily, I mean, I am seeing some dirt, but not a whole lot. This might just be like, color fading and the dirt merging into the cover, I don't know. I'm not, well, honestly, I'm not really well versed with unkept comics because I have always kept 
comics, you know, and backboards, and, and I've kept really good, you know, every comic I find, they go on a backboard and a cover. Um, I, I, look, I mean, that's getting that, that cosmic all white. It was all dirty. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It looks nice. Let's see if I can get some white in that spidey. Oh, that was nice right there, man. Um, but, uh... Oh, yeah, I made that now. Ooh, I can actually read the now. Yeah, I don't know why I never tried that ball before. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. That surprised me. That getting it that that white and poppy right there. Let's see if Alcohol works really well in white. It's getting all this like I mean, because I mean, you have to imagine how many hands have touched this. You know, over the years, how many people pick this up at that half price books that I found it out before I I picked it up. You know. That's kind of one of the reasons I've always wanted to <laughs> use alcohol in comics because they got to be dirty and kit like, you know, people talk about how dirty dollar bills are, you know. So I'm pretty sure comics are, are just the same. And some comics like mine, you know, they might be like one person and they go in your... They go in your PC. Yeah, man, the alcohol really works on that white. I mean, I did it up here. Let's see. I did it over here, and it kind of popped over here. Did it over here. Hope y'all can see all of this. Can try a little bit on this TSR right here. Because there, there is some white, and it's a little dark by the top of the T. really good on me. There's definitely some dirt on that spine on the back part, man. Get dirty. pretty clean sticker is gone I can't I can't tell you know where the sticker was I mean if you can you let me know I mean I want to watch this before I upload it of course but you know I mean I, I got it right here in front of me and it looks pretty good um, I'm not the expert you know but I'd say it definitely looks a lot better minus that sticker you know what I'm saying I, I'm really scared on the Puma because the Puma the paper is, is a little I want to say, you know, because this is a glossy type of paper. It is very thin. But for some reason, on the Puma, I did touch it. And it just it feels like like it was, it's in a lot worse condition than this. But again, I want to stress that, that these are my copies from my personal. I don't plan to sell these. I'm not trying to trick anybody. That is not evil's bag by any means. Um, technically, if you want to get stiffy, I've never really sold comics online. They've always been in person or through Facebook ads and I meet them in person because I'm really nervous about the grading and stuff like that. A lot of people don't get that all comics kind of start at a 9.2 grade, you know, at the LCS, that's what they get delivered, is at a 9.2 grade. Um, you know, like to extremely get that 9A grade, you're supposed to have your comics cleaned and pressed. It's part of the shebang. Um, but again, this was just something I was curious about. You know, maybe you people at home have some stickers, you know. I mean, I bought a lot of these books with stickers on them just for curiosity because I love these covers and I hate seeing these comics in the, in the quarter bins, but because of these stupid stickers, I would never buy these before. And I've been passing these up forever. And, and I've seen, I mean, at my half price, I think there's got to be like 30 or 40 number ones. There, there's that. There, well, up until recently, now she's gone. But there was a couple Naomi number ones in the, in the quarter bins. But it had that stupid quarter. I don't know what, because this comic, like this one, does have a little tear right here. 
But you're talking about like, let's say this was a big key comic. This this comic does not have any tears. It's not really dirty. I mean, minus that sticker, and that's the only thing wrong with it. I mean, look at the inside. I mean, look, look the colors are still popping. You know what I'm saying? It's not even a bag and board. That's that's. I mean, it, it it's probably been sitting, you know, in one spot its whole life. Um, but hey, that's my video. I'm gonna do another one where I just get these stickers off. You know, just make some more videos. All right, guys, like, subscribe, comment. I thank every single one of y'all for watching. I know I'm dropping a lot of stuff. Y'all watch them when you get the time. You don't have to rush out and watch my stuff immediately. Um, if you did drop by, please drop a comment so I know you drop by and. Uh, you know, so I could chat you right back up. You have a great day. Evil out.